Hello everyone, welcome back to what is bound to be the most action-packed episode of Weg's Garage to date. Today we're going to be talking door mirrors. That's right, door mirrors for our 1964 Triumph TR4. Stay tuned. So from the factory, our 1964 Triumph TR4 would not have been equipped with a door mirror. However, uh, they were a dealer installed accessory on quite a few US cars. Uh, but to be honest, if it weren't for one fact, we probably would have just left it off. However, uh, this car did have a door mirror on it. This is it right here. It's not exactly the highest quality item. The uh, chrome is peeling off. It's got a little rattle to it. Anyway, it was mounted to the door right here and there's remnants of like some other holes that maybe there was a different mirror mounted on here at some point. There's three holes on there. There's only two holes in this mirror. Anyway, the point is these holes were not filled in during the bodywork portion, because we assume they were correct. Uh, of course, they are not really, but now we're kind of stuck with them. So we're gonna try to use or at least cover these holes. And the reason I bring that up is it is it kind of makes two things not gonna work. One is we can't mount a mirror to the fender, which I've seen a lot of cars have. Uh, the other is a lot of the mirrors that are available from the big uh, Triumph suppliers have a single post that goes down into the door to install and we won't be able to cover up these holes if we use a mirror that style. So we need to find something similar to this one right here. And a fun trip over to Amazon later. And I've got a couple. Let's check it out. Okay, here's what we found. Uh, these are two mirrors made by this CIPA, SIPA mirrors. I don't know what that is. Anyway, uh, these were very inexpensive. Uh, this one is a round mirror uh, and it is part number 17, uh, excuse me, 17,000. Uh, and this one is a square one, part number 18,000. Uh, and to be honest, they're both kind of cheap. They're uh, they're they're definitely all plastic. Um, this one looks pretty good, and actually looks uh, like a dead ringer for our one that came off the door. So, and the holes do match up perfectly. So this one is a really nice replacement for the one that came off of our car. Uh, the other one I ordered here is a square one or a rectangular mirror. So I have seen a lot of Triumphs with rectangular door mirrors. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this style, and the bracket on this one feels like extra, extra cheap plastic. So uh, I don't feel good about putting that on there. This joint mechanism here is kind of a joke, too. Uh, I guess it works as a mirror, so... So this could work for a certain car. Uh, can't say I recommend that one, because again, this bracket really, really feels and looks cheap. Uh, whereas this one, like, it's plastic, yes, but it feels pretty solid. And uh, considering it fits right up to our existing holes, we're gonna give it a shot. So here we go, we'll try installing it. How's the fit up going? The bottom of the mirror is flat. The door is curved. That's a bit of a problem. 
So I think what we're going to have to do here, we got a flat base mirror, we got a curved door, and even with the gasket in there, it's not going to want to fit tight. So I think what we got to do is take that mounting flange and groove it. Basically grind it so this has a U-shape to it. So when it goes on the door, it fits the curvature of the door. Because flat meets curve, not good. All right, so that's gonna do it for another episode of Weg's Garage. Mirror's looking pretty good. It's nice to have these holes covered up. Uh, it's maybe not like the greatest mirror in the world, but uh, it looks pretty good, I think. So happy with how that turned out. We've got plenty more little projects like this to come, all kinds of little details, and uh, we're gonna be taking everybody along for the ride while we finish those up. So keep coming back. We'll keep working on this car until every nut and bolt is where it should be. By the time you see this video, you'll probably have already had your fill of turkey and stuffing. But anyway, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you back here next time. <laughs>